What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the debut mixtape by Quality Control Music. Basically this project is called Solid Foundation and it came out in the winter of 2014. Now, this is a particular hit project because this is after Migos. This is kind of after one of Migos' banner years, at least in the mixtape circuit, which happened to be 2013. They had some hits that year like Miley Sa <clears throat> They had some hits that year like Hannah Montana and Versace, some of those type ones on the mixtape grind and some of that type pitch. They dropped a series of mixtapes throughout 2013, including some ones with Rich the Kid and some stuff like that. They had some compilation mixtapes and that sort of stuff, but they did develop a record label, but they did develop a record label somewhere across like late 2013 or early 2014 and such, and that was Quality Control Music. So it's pretty dope that this is an actual, so it's pretty dope that Migos' record label Quality Control dropped an official mixtape as far as that pitch kind of particularly happens with it. This is a Gangsta Grills tape, so it has DJ drama affiliation. This is a pretty big deal. Gangsta Grills tapes are usually a pretty big deal, so it's a pretty good concept kind of see some of those particular type ones. So this is a good pitch to kind of have. It's just interesting seeing Gangsta Grills tapes way out in 2014 just because the pitch behind those as mixtape grind was starting to die down a little bit. Like Migos did drop an out. Migos did have a pretty big year in 2014, 10 years ago when they dropped the No Label 2 album, which I think came out in either like February, March, April 2014, somewhere around that time when they had singles like ha when they had singles like Handsome and Wealthy and Fight Night, some of those type pitches. So 2014 was a pretty big year for Migos as far as that pitch kind of particularly happened with it. It's kind of a disappointment just within a minor sense just because Gucci Mane was not able to to help helm them with this particular year but they kind of found their wings on their own as far as that pitch kind of particularly kind of happened they really began to break out like in 2015 with like some mixtape grind stuff like that and then of course they blew up entirely with culture in 2017 so it's just kind of a concept this is still kind of like the brewing stages before like some of the hits like fight night and some of those type pitches across like the spring and summer of 2014 migos was still kind of in an in-between type stage at least the initial few months of 2014 with some good concepts here there are this solid foundation project is a pretty heralded mixtape so i this is definitely going to get a rather raised score. I wasn't expecting to give it as high of a score as I'm getting ready to give it. It's kind of a concept I was expecting. It's because some previous Migos mix, just because some previous Migos mixtapes I've given like eights and sevens out of ten, but it's going to get a higher score than like an eight, eight and a half. I'd have to say. So it's a pretty good concept. Kind of particularly kind of see this one. Just has a lot of good pitches on here, just within the overall aspect of it. This is pretty chock full of just overall hits. Even if you don't notably know some of these folks that are on the quality control label, just in terms of like the pitch, I know at least Rich the kid he's kind of another cat that was pretty big on like the quality control label but some of these other folks are just a lot more low-key but they do still have some quality and Migos kind of on this particular product just doesn't really drop like club bangers like Hannah they're not really dropping club bangers like Hannah Montana and Versace this time around they just have a lot more kind of more they have a lot more just trap house kind of Zaytoven type beats just more hangout type sessions and stuff like that just smoke a few just in like the kitchen and things like that the living room type or just standard PlayStation type music and just kind of football music just things like that just kind of kick back and just rolling up weeds and stuff like that as far as that pitch kind of happens just some good house party type affairs but there are some other folks on here there's not a ton of turn up songs on this particular project but you will you will find like a handful of some car rumblers like no choice and some pitches like that particular one and some ride out type tunes like designer some of those type pitches and some nightclub songs just within that relative kind of picks like i really do this there's just some good concepts so i would say don't be turned off by the lack of just like notability off this particular project if you're looking for like the big names gucci mains on here at least once but he kind of went to prison in the fall of 2013 when he had his twitter meltdown and stuff like that so he's not really on here as much as he probably could have been but there's just not a lot of noteworthy kind of names this is more of like an in-house type affair but it still has some good stuff i definitely feel like the production fair and this overall approach works pretty heavily but you have to be willing to invest in it you have to kind of look after some of these i'm going to try to distinguish some of these type ones to kind of provide some of the hit type potential of some of these was this kind of concept to my knowledge there's not really a single i'm surprised that there weren't really any i'm surprised that there weren't really any like music videos or stuff like that or any sort of promotion that kind of went along with that apparently there was at least like a vlog for this particular project but apart from that there wasn't really any real apart from that there wasn't terribly much huge kind of promotion about this particular project but still a pretty good concept i do like i said this is going to get rather heralded the score so we'll just go ahead and talk about the songs i recommend on here basically the, out of 20 songs on this particular project i wound up recommending to you 16 that's actually quite a bit that's what i'm talking about there's just a good assortment of quality on here so some of these songs it's probably easier just to talk about the four songs i don't recommend so we'll just get to those basically the four songs i don't recommend would just be how does it feel when we ride they gave the wrong nigga money and surrender. 
So talk about some of those. Some of those ones just didn't really have like the appropriate kind of arrangements as far as that pitch kind of happens. I mean, some of these were just kind of more low key. Initially, when I was listening to this mixtape, I thought there was going to be more songs like some of these, but it's just kind of the concept that this is kind of some of these just don't have like the most appropriate kind of productions on there. I just would suppose that. I mean, they they do work in like certain senses, but not as full blown as like they need to. Some of these just have to be dug. Some of these you just have to dig a lot deeper to kind of get to, and some of these just don't have like the best interface in terms of like the pitch behind that. Kind of feel like Surrender was just kind of like a drill type record that just didn't work that well especially later on in like drill type phases when we ride was just like a poor ride out kind of song i definitely feel like there's some better ones on here like uh no choice and i really do this and designer and some of those type ones i'd have to suppose some of those type pitches and i just would kind of look after it like i want to say atm is a better one also and then how does it feel it's kind of a poor one that just didn't i mean there's just some ones on here there's just some ones on here that just have like a clumsier approach as far as that pitch, but it's not many. I mean, this is like, like I said, this mixtape is going to get over a nine out of 10. So it's definitely the concept. Don't let these small amounts of snags really delay this because this is basically damn near like a classic mixtape. I definitely feel like, and it's revolutionary too. That's another thing to kind of note. That's another noteworthy thing to kind of talk about. It's just the fact that Migos and Quality Control really heralded things. They were some of the biggest, I, I feel like Quality Control is one of the biggest record labels in rap music or amongst, one of the biggest record labels in rap music amongst like the mid late 2010s from about 2014 2015 to about 2020 and even further than that they continue to be one of the biggest labels they have city girls little baby folks like that it's a whole bunch of folks migos obviously there's plenty of good folks on there to kind of have so this is just the initial stages this is kind of like the dawn and the initial kind of marketing and push for like 2010s trap that would be dominant basically even until today as far as that particular pitch kind of happens with this so it's just some good stuff they're doing a lot of things even if this particular project didn't have like a heralded mixtape single something like versace or Hannah Montana, something like that. I do feel like it does have some good approach, and you can basically almost treat like the Migos. I would say you could basically almost treat like the Migos songs as damn near singles just within the pitch behind it, because a lot of these are pretty damn good, I'd have to suppose. We'll go ahead and talk about some of these songs on here. A pretty immediate one to go for would be Get Down. This is Migos and Gucci Man. This is a pretty shrill one. This is definitely like a shrill kind of leery trap bop, I'd have to say. This is like a house party turn up type song, definitely. And it's just got some revved up energy, and it's just a good kickstarter. This would kind of almost be like some damn near horrorcore trap, I'd have to say it's a pretty good it's a pretty good concept to kind of see some of that particular type stuff i just would have to suppose gucci main fits this song particularly well it kind of makes me wish that he wouldn't have went to prison for three and a half years as this project was being promoted and such because it definitely would have been some good vibes to have gotten more gucci main on here they just have some good chemistry migos and gucci man i'd have to suppose as far as that pitch kind of happens with that pretty leery and pretty great leery and overall spook of a song that just works pretty well they're definitely this is an excellent kind of cut on here this is one to immediately go for dramatic is another nice one this is a migos kind of solo cut this is a pretty highlighted one. This is like a mellow kind of twenty. This is like a mellow kind of twenty tens trap cut hangout. I'd have to suppose pretty good, pretty good concept to get that particular one. This is like a mid pace kind of get together vibes that this song particularly kind of has, and this is just a great smoke a sweet kind of cut. So this is definitely one for as the ladies start to show up and things start to get more litty and stuff like that. Just the initial kind of turn up with just things getting a little bit rowdy, but this is just kind of a mid pace type one. I feel like this is probably something you'd listen to as the sun's starting to set, as the sun's starting to set, stuff like that. Five thirty six p.m. something like that is not quite where the dance craze is at it not where like the dance craze is at like an all-time high and like things are really rowdy and noisy as far as that pitch kind of happens but this the initial kind of dap getting stuff like that is just as you start putting the playstation down and start turning up the music as far as some of those pitches kind of happen as far as some of those pitches kind of happen with it i'd have to say so it's a pretty good concept rich nigga shit's a pretty nice one this is a pretty highlighted hit now some of these folks i some of these folks i know less but this is by rich the kid i'd have to suppose pretty good concept he they rich kid was doing pretty good he had a series of mixtapes that he did with migos in late 2013 so it's a good concept to kind of see that this is like a more lively kind of house party hypeness of a song i'd have to say this is a pretty solid benny bop for some vanilla nights out definitely i'd have to suppose pretty good one just to kind of have within that initial sense this one has a little bit more energy just a little bit more lidiness type factor not quite as much of like a full-blown house party type not really as much of like a full-blown kind of house party type cup i would have to say just has some good energy just overall just kind of just in a social aspect of just like a decent benny bob i feel like this mixtape has enough lidiness to kind of be and I feel like this mixtape has enough lidiness to kind of be in like venues and places where you'd be out and about, just not at home or in the residential neighborhood as far as that pitch kind of happens. Just some of these are kind of here and there, but I kind of feel like I almost wonder if that would be slighted just because this mixtape doesn't have any singles. I definitely think in Atlanta you could probably hear some of these type songs is the venues and strip clubs and things like that but just initially it's just kind of the concept that some of these would be some good concepts kind of here out and about and this is a pretty vanilla night out i'd have to say rich nigga shit so it's a pretty good concept for that particular one 
Kick the Door Down. Kick the Door Down by Migos is a pretty highlighted one. It's like an entry kind of smoky, hazy kind of kickoff haze. I would definitely kind of feel like this is just a ghastly kind of pull-up gem I would definitely have to suppose. And this is just an initial dap and kind of send-off type cut, I'd have to say. So it's a pretty good concept. Definitely has like a pretty smoky type feel. This overall, this more minimalist type production on here. Just an initial kind of spook of one that just kind of works a little bit. I mean, it's not really full-blown haunting but it just kind of has like some of that leeriness about it that just kind of makes it just like a good entry type one just kind of in a trap type sense it's an interesting kind of beat here just because this is another kind of house party type migos cut that works pretty well so migos was definitely interested in getting some of these residential type gems really fleshed out and just migos was definitely interested in getting some of these residential type gems really fleshed out and kind of having it to where you could have some shindigs just more around the neighborhood as far as that pitch kind of happens so this is just a great one to pull up with a bunch of your buddies and just really shake the house and, and just really shake the house and things like that as far as that pitch kind of particularly happens with it i'd have to say so it's a pretty good concept atm is a pretty highlighted one this is definitely some vehicle vibes def atm is definitely some vehicle vibes this is like a pounding kind of flashy 2010s trap breadwinner i'd have to say it has a relevant feel about it even today i'd have to suppose so there's a couple songs on here like i feel like atm and no choice are two good vehicle type pounding type ones you can just hear the 808s if you like music like travis scott and future and migos and some of those type folks that just have a bunch of those card kind of flashy vehicle type pull up type tunes just within a sense of really looking this really looking snazzy and stunting some stuff like that that's a good concept to kind of get some of these particular type ones so atm is a pretty good one this vintage kind of vehicle type vibes just circa early 2014 this is kind of these are some of the more revolutionary type moments just because you know prior to this in 2013 2012 there weren't as many of these particular type moments i mean there were but they just were not quite as easily done i'd have to suppose they just kind of had a little bit this is this is where it started becoming more routine and stuff like that i'd have to suppose the atm's pretty nice one no choice is another good highlight of one for that particular feel this is like a snazzy kind of evening cruise out pizzazz of a song i have to say this is definitely some glitzy turn up and it's just a relevant kind of 2010s trap bruiser i'd have to say so definitely some of these just have some of that pounding bass and this overall hit potential just being in a vehicle and this vehicle bonding stuff like that and this vehicle bonding stuff like that just some cruise out type music and just really looking this really looking suave and snazzy for like some evening pitches as far as like that social kind of step out and this overall and this overall type stunt type fair as far as those pitches kind of happen so these are some highlighted ones definitely appreciate some of these i mean even despite the fact of not knowing who jose guapo and mpa duke might be and johnny cinco and some of those type folks they're basically just like an interchangeable kind of migos member something like that just if you picture like migos being on these type productions they have similar pitch and cadence to some of those type folks so these are just some of the same approaches just within that it's just kind of the concept it's not like you should be expecting migos to be on every song i mean it's kind of a concept that they probably could have been but it's just kind of the concept that some of these folks is just kind of like more vanilla rappers just within that relative sense it's some good concepts so it's just kind of something to notice or it's just something to kind of keep track of i'd have to say sean kemp is a pretty highlighted one this is definitely like a vintage kind of zaytoven gucci main like trap brewer i'd have sean kemp is like a vintage zaytoven gucci main like trap brewer i'd have to say it's a pretty good concept for that it's like a house shindig kind of hangout pizzazz of a song i definitely would feel like so this is a pretty good concept this is another good stock this is another good stock house party cut from migos as far as that particular pitch kind of happens with it this just really feels like a stock kind of 2000 this just really feels like a stock late 2000s early 2010s gucci main type song as far as that pitch kind of happens with it just the vintage just kind of Zaytoven beat as far as that particular kind of sound kind of happens with it. This typical kind of trap sound from like the early 2010s. It's a more stock and factory type one. But it works as a pretty good house party type sense as far as that particular kind of goes. This is definitely good for some shindig kind of hangout just cooling as far as that pitch kind of goes with that. Designer is a pretty highlighted one. Definitely appreciate this one. This is like a loud pack this is definitely some loud pack flash i'd have to say it's a pretty impactful kind of stunt song i definitely feel like and it's an icebreaker for 2010s trap night parties i'd have to say so it's a definite good concept to get some of these particular type ones this has one this probably has one of the more immediate beats on the whole mixtape i'd have to suppose this real kind of flashy type one this overall stunt type song that this works pretty heavily and this has a lot of good pizzazz about it just to really have some bravado and just kind of have some good noise about it just for like some social kind of fairs just the pitch of just having some good times i'd have to suppose that's a pretty highlighted one definitely some vehicle bound type music and just overall lidiness of just the liveliness of being out and about just especially within that standard kind of free mixtape kind of pizzazz as far as that pitch kind of happens with it so some good stuff there ounces is a pretty highlighted one this is another migos type tune this is definitely like an evening kind of trap malaise of a hangout song i'd have to ounces is definitely some evening trap malaise i would have to say this is like a hangout kind of kickback i would definitely feel like and this is just getting ready to turn up as just kind of a steadfast type song so once again this is another kind of steady type migos type song 
it's just interesting that they weren't as interested in having like these turn up type songs like Versace or something like that. I was kind of hoping that they would have had at least one. I was kind of hoping that they would have had at least one Versace type tune or something like Hannah Montana, something like that. This their standard kind of trap boilers and stuff like that. But they just chose a lot more kind of just they just chose Migos just chose a lot more just kind of brewers and just kind of bubbling type hangout type tunes just for like getting pizza some stuff like that. Just as the things are getting turned up a bit, just really getting ready to turn up, roll up some weeds and stuff like that. Just within the relative pitch of just getting the initial kind of bravado just as things start to show up and folks start showing up more and you get ready to have some shindigs and just overall dance craze as far as that pitch can happen so these are just some good concepts to kind of get that but it's just kind of if you come to this project expecting Migos I would say if you come to this project expecting Migos to have some of those riveting type boilers they don't really have it full blown on this particular project but they do have a lot of house party trap type cuts I'd have to say it's a pretty good concept water whip is another nice one this is like a nightclub bruiser I'd have to say this has like a heavy future like bravado about this song I particularly have to suppose and this is just like a shrill haunting beat and it's a pretty dope cut I'd have to say so it's just a good concept kind of get some of these definitely another rumbler type one this is definitely a song that Migos probably should have done themselves this is definitely a song that Migos probably should have done themselves on this particular project I'd have to say it's just a real good night crowd this one just has some pretty similar pitches to like future on some of his more turn up kind of trap type this just has a similar pitch to future on some of his turn up type trap type cuts like same damn time and some of his strip club type numbers were for just making it rain and things like that as far as those pitches kind of happen this is a good kind of turn up type tune definitely good for a venue i'd have to say this like designer and some of those type ones and atm definitely rns is a pretty highlighted one this is real nigga salute definitely appreciate this one this is like a haunting but energized kind of trap malaise of a song i'd have to say is this this one's good for some night commerce and smokage i would definitely say and this is a pretty superb song so this is a metro boomin beat definitely good one to note because metro boomin has one of the best beats on the whole project i'd have to say he's definitely a pretty heralded producer so it's just interesting that he had some beats on this particular project. It's a pretty good concept to kind of get some of this stuff. He's one of the more notable. He's one of the more notable 2010s trap producers. So it's definitely a good concept to get a couple of those on here. He has a. He also has a combined production with Zaytoven on the song Ounces that was by Migos. So it's a good concept to get that particular one. But I would definitely say that real. I would definitely say that real nigga salute is one of the best beats on the whole project. I would definitely say this has a real haunting and kind of energized just overall malaise about it. That this works pretty heavily. I'd have to say. Married to the Money is another nice. One. This one reminds me of Chief Keef style. I'd have to say a pretty good one for that particular concept. This is like a 411 kind of laid down type cut, which just means game laid flat, some stuff like that. Just really laying down game, some of those type pitches. And this is just an evening outing kind of jazz. So Married to the Money is like a vanilla type trap type cut, I'd have to suppose. Pretty litty type one. I would definitely feel like it's just kind of a basic type tune, but it works pretty well just within the relative sense. It's just kind of like a brewing type one, kind of near a vehicle, but then also just kind of in like a relative shindig, something like that. Just kind of some zone out type music and this overall pitch is like that it's kind of it just works this works well for some social type fair i'd have to suppose it's pretty it's a pretty dope concept to kind of get that particular one fuck the rap game is a pretty highlighted one this is like an icy kind of wintry this is like an icy kind of wintry house shindig type vibes i'd have to suppose pretty, pretty dope concept to get this one in particular i'd have to say this is like a steadfast kind of hangout flair i would definitely feel like and this just overall has like a vanilla type vibe i'd have to say so this is another one another good house party hangout type song from migos as far as that pitch kind of has with it this is just a little this is just more of like one that you could listen to in the winter not so much like a summer type cup but just has a lot more of like an icy type feel there's something for like january february or something just something for more like January, February, some of those icy type pitches are just kind of more around the house, just within a relative sense, but still a pretty litty type song, I'd have to say. It's just some good hangout type fare, just a good concept to kind of get some of these type ones just to kind of have some local shindigs and just overall just kind of in between type fare. I mean, this one doesn't strike me as much. Fuck the rap game strikes me as more of like some kickback type tunes as far as those pitches kind of happens with it, but it is a pretty good concept to kind of get some of these hangout type ones just for like the television being on, some stuff like that, just snackage, smokage, some things like that, just a relative kind of pitch just within that relative sense. Not quite as much of turn up compared to some of these ones on here. I feel like Ounces by Migos and Dramatic are a little bit more better turn up type ones, at least within the house party sense of the vibes that they're giving off this project, but it is a pretty good concept. I really do this is a pretty highlighted one. Definitely appreciate this beat. This has one that I really do this has one of the tape's best beats, I'd have to say. It's definitely an excellent type one. Definitely need way more songs like this, but this mixtape is still pretty dope, so it's not too much of a complaint. But I'd have to say this is one of the tape's loudest bangers I would definitely feel like. It's kind of like a glitzy kind of evening step out, I would definitely have to say. And this is just some really relevant pizzazz. This is a pretty highlight one. Definitely some pretty good pizzazz. This one's up there with designer and some of those type ones and ATM in terms of like some of the highlighted type flash that this mixtape.
particularly kind of has. If we could have gotten Migos on a song like this, this definitely would have been a pretty good boiler. But then, you know, this tape really needed a single. I don't know why I didn't have one. It's just kind of a concept about it. But it's just kind of the thing. So QC addiction, which is quality control addiction, is what that stands for. It's the concept about it in particular. This is like a glazed, kind of icy social jazziness of a song, I'd have to say. It's like a mellow, kind of regular evening, I would definitely feel like. And this is just some catchy ambience of a pace that this song particularly kind of has. So this is just a sparkly kind of one. It's another highlighted one that kind of reminds me of some. Some of the songs of Culture Days by Migos, some of those type pitches, something like uh, Slippery and some of those type ones, and Bad and Bougie, some of those type pitches, just an early taste of what Migos would do just a few years later. It's a pretty highlighted one, just a good pitch, kind of reminds me of like a Zaytoven type beat, just a good type one, just kind of smoke, just a good kind of smokish type tune for the winter as far as that pitch kind of happens with it, and just a pretty good song to kind of hear in like a night venue. There's not tons of these, like Migos really didn't really go, like Migos didn't really step out to night venues that much on this particular project, but I feel like this is a pretty vanilla and this overall mild type rumbler and this an overall mild type rumbler for like a night venue as far as that pitch just from that from that particular just from the Migos particular crew as far as this tape is kind of concerned I have to say so it's a good concept for that and then Roger that's a pretty highlighted one and then Roger that's a pretty highlighted one this is definitely like a Liddy kind of turn up vibes I'd have to say it's pretty similar to Versace by Migos I would definitely feel like this is just a good kickstarter and it has some social thrills about it I definitely have to suppose so if you like Versace by Migos from 2013 some of those type pitches just the same sort of snap and overall aesthetic of that particular song it's a relatively good dance pace in this overall frenetic type vibes. I'd have to say that, Roger, that's a pretty good one. Now, this is not by Migos, I'd have to say, but still a pretty good concept. I feel like this low Z type dude did a pretty good job with that particular type one. It has some similar type vibes. And that's the thing about a lot of these folks on here, some of these type folks that are not Migos, just within the pitch of some of that. I feel like some of these folks do distinguish themselves, but it's just kind of the fact that they just don't have like the noteworthy kind of casual appeal. I feel like maybe a lot of these folks kind of dried up later on, but I'd have to say it's just the concept that they do have some quality music and they're not. They're not really amateurs in terms of the relative pitch behind us. It's just the fact that you may just not know who the hell they are in that sort of particular pitch as far as that kind of goes. It's just kind of the concept. Of it. Once again, if you dig deeper, you can notice that they do have some good songs, but you have to be willing to give them the shots. It's kind of the concept, but they do have like some Migos kind of similarities and qualities and just have a lot of good turn up and stuff like that on here. So some good pitches. So yeah, me recommending 16 songs out of 20 on this particular mixtape. I'm going to go ahead and give this mixtape like a nine and a half out of 10. Just damn near if, it, if there had been one more song that I appreciated, it probably would have gotten a 10 out of 10. I just would have to say is that ferocious of projects. So There's definitely some excellence here. Just plenty of good stuff. Just all these songs I list are just pretty high in quality. Just some sheer type stuff. Even if it doesn't have a single and like casual appeal just within that sense. Or full blown casual appeal. I'd still say this is a pretty marketed and just overall heavy impactful type one that was revolutionary and did a lot of damage. So the social score that's kind of tricky. But I think I'm going to give this social score like an 8.5 out of 10. Because I was kind of disappointed that this project didn't. Because I was kind of somewhat disappointed that this project didn't have a single and stuff like that and it's just kind of not that casual friendly i'd have to suppose this kind of concept that you really have to know about and kind of do some research to kind of see some of these gems i mean the production fair works pretty heavily it definitely is excellently produced has a lot of social candor and stuff like that some outings some lady songs some stuff like that some car vehicle type songs some overall traverse and house park type vibes it's kind of the concept that nothing really jumps off the page in terms of like the impactful you need to download this project for this particular song it's just kind of the concept is that it gets an eight and a half out of ten in terms of the future, like quality controls continue to put out music. Migos is kind of broken up. You know, Takeoff is no longer. Takeoff is unfortunately no longer here. So it's kind of the concept about some of those particular type things. But I would have to say I'm going to review some more Migos as time goes along. Definitely get to some more of these. Probably even review some of these quality control type folks. Maybe I could get to a few of these folks, like maybe Rich the Kid or some of these type folks to kind of see what's up with it. We'll just have to keep going with it. But I'm just going to have to suppose. Pretty damn well excellent mixtape here. Definitely recommend this, even despite the fact that it's not that much of a casual smash i still would have to say to check this project out and just fuck with it it's a revolutionary kind of 2010s trap type project that has a lot of lidiness you don't want to miss out on it